the accessory box that comes with the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition actually has magnets on the back and will easily attach to the back of the machine for easy transport. Then you just lift the handle up and the two will travel together. So in this video, we wanna go through just some of the locations of where all the, the tools go, plus get them out of the original bags that came out of the box. And don't forget, there's one more foot that is down with the machine loose in the box. So make sure you get this. This one is actually the buttonhole foot. It is an automatic buttonhole foot and it all has specific homes for where these items uh, fit. So this one is actually going to go ahead and snug right in there. Let's do the feet next. So in the bag with all the expressor feet, we're going to go through what each one is and then show you where it goes in the box. So on the feet that are nine millimeters wide, you are going to notice that there is an extra little kind of eye at the top. This this will allow the machine to do that extra wide stitching. And if it doesn't see that extra eye, then it will narrow down the stitch width. So our first one that we'll be putting in is just our standard foot, but it has a D at the end. D is in dog. And with that, you're going to find that that anything that has a D on it is for the dual feed. Now, what is the dual feed? That's the part that's on the back of the machine that as you pull down, now this is not a dual feed foot, so it's not going to let me really put it down in place, but reach behind the machine, pull it down. This is like a built-in walking foot. And so anytime you put a D foot on, you are going to want to use that. For example, another D foot is your number four. It's a zipper foot and it also has that cut out for the dual feed. And that's great. So if if you are working on zippers that are going into vinyl or stretchy things, that is like having a walking foot with your zipper foot, which is great. Um, another foot that I'm glad comes with this machine is just the 20C. C means without the dual feed, so make sure you're not trying to pull that down and use the wrong foot. But that is an open toe foot and will help uh, go and work with all your decorative stitches. We use the open toe foot a lot with our Stitching Cosmos online course where we help you master all your great decorative stitches. So make sure you're checking out the free videos that you can watch to see if the Stitching Cosmos course is right for you. And we use that foot a lot. So you don't have to buy that separately. You also get a 2A foot. This is an overlock foot. So if you don't have a certain this is going to be like the next best thing. And if you do have a serger, you're going to find that sometimes our sergers are set up with, say, black thread, and you just need a quick little segment stitched out in white thread. So sometimes I'll reach for this foot because it's quicker than actually changing my serger over to the white thread. 97. This particular accessory is your quarter inch foot, and you're going to love that. We're going to do a videos on all these feet, so you're really going to get to know them in and out. Out. Now, in the bag of extra goodies here, we do have it, our, our bobbins. I'll show you how they fit right in this top row. And by the way, these are totally adjustable. So if you would prefer to have different uh, foot racks uh, for different locations, and then there's actually one extra foot rack down in the drawer at the bottom here, so you can customize the way you arrange all your feet. So let me show you the little trick with bobbins here. So on a Bernina Jumbo bobbin, they actually have one side that's not as wide as the other. So you do need to actually flip them so they'll go into their little holder correctly. So that means that the silver side is actually pointing to the right side. And when you slide all these in, then they will be seated correctly. And then all you have to do to get them out is push down and they roll right towards you. So that is is the right way to do the bobbins. Now, I'm always a fan of lots of extra bobbins, and you'll notice that you actually have a holder for even more bobbins than what come with the machine. Let's talk about some other things in here. We actually have a style list, so you can use this to e easily touch and choose things on screen. Uh, you can use your finger and you can use your fingernail. So there's lots of different things, but for those of you, sometimes when it's cold, I'm not, <laughs> my fingers don't react to the screen, so this is actually your next best thing. So I'll just go ahead and set that. I'm gonna leave that out because I'm gonna actually use that. Oil, we're gonna talk about where you need to clean and oil this machine and how often you need to do this. 
Hint, it's more often than you think. If you find yourself having any trouble with your machine rock working, probably just needs a little drop of oil. And we also have a super fast way to get in and out of the bobbin area. Get that oil in there. Uh, we do it once a day. So when you sit down to sew, definitely put a little drop of oil in there. And of course, if you're doing anything with linty fabrics, make sure you give it a good cleaning with the brush. No canned air. So we'll talk about that when we do our cleaning. Uh, we do have some other accessories. We've got a screwdriver for some of the few things that we actually take the screwdriver out. The little white guy here that fans out, that will help us go up and over really thick seams. That is a wonderful tool. Again, we'll show you all the cool things that this will be used for. And then, plus we do have some extra spool pin pads that can actually go on when we thread our machine. So I'm gonna leave one of those out for when we get ready to thread. And then we have spool caps. So the spool caps are all set up so you can um, hold the spools in place. I'll be showing you which ones you're going to use when. These will just have little places where you can set them aside. You can even put your most common spool caps or holders at any place that is kind of open. A Bernina seam ripper. Now, I know every sewing machine comes with a seam ripper, but a Bernina seam ripper is one of the sharpest I have ever used. So if you haven't tried this out, this is also something I tend to get a few extras of from my local Bernina store because they are so, so handy. And I know it's not something you wanna talk about, but it is something that we do need to do. If you're wondering what to do with this little yellow piece, that was the piece that was around your uh, presser foot when it was shipped to you. If you never saw this, your dealer probably just threw it away and that's exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put that in the trash. I don't need that really for any future traveling. So everything's just gonna go right back together. Everything's right at my fingertips. Close up that door, set that off to the side and you've always got your accessories right at your fingertips with plenty of room to grow as you continue to add more accessories to your beautiful Bernina 570 Quilters Edition. Now, as we go on to all of our other videos, we're gonna do short, fast videos on all the different topics that we are covering throughout this machine. So I hope you'll check out all the videos at sewingmastery.com.